Hello everyone. This is Kat. I'm back and I'm sharing my mixture of Floetrol Elmer's glue and paint mixture. And then once I get my medium mixture, then the percentage of how much of this mixture to the paint. I rarely use Apple Barrel because Walmart's so far away. And I don't know that you can get Darcy paints because that's just down the road from me here in Cleveland, Ohio, in a town called Strongsville. But they may do mail order, so you might want to uh, check that out. You, they might give you a discount because they just took this on. I want to thank everyone who has joined me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about me. This I showed the last video. This is the amount of paint you need per canvas size. And it, the canvas size goes up all the way to 48 times 60. So it'll give you the idea of how much paint you should use to cover your canvas. If you're like me, you waste a little bit, but there's always something you can do with it. Turn a CD upside down and make a mini clock out of it. roll rocks around in it. Uh, you can always do a lot of things if you use your imagination with your leftover paints. Okay. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants on this one. This is house paint with just Floetrol. There's no Elmer's glue in it. This is just my base. You don't want any added chemicals because you don't want your canvas to come through as though you've got a bare spot. I was talking to a friend by the name of Mylene, Mylene, and she said I needed to show my other art and uh, to put a slideshow together of my oil paintings and my even my tattooing, but she doesn't know I, I haven't. A retired tattoo artist but she said a slideshow of my art so that's what I'm going to be doing anybody have any ideas I would greatly appreciate it if I do something wrong let me know I appreciate that too I, I accept criticism with no problem it's all a learning process. In my day, when I was younger, I sold paintings at outside art shows. I'm not too sure what I want to do here. Do I want to drag it? A string drag? I'll just do a flip cup. A flip cup and drag. 
I'm staying with about the same basic hues. Not a real light and dark situation going. But they're separated enough. I'm using CRC Automotive, and that was like, like six or seven drops. And I just stuck my hand in my paint. I'm stirring it. Now this I never do well. But believe it or not, I did that one well. If you've seen my other videos, I usually have paint all over the place. I'm kind of proud of myself on that one. That one worked really well. I've got all these extra thumb decks. See how big they are? Blue on blue just doesn't show very well. They're monsters. I've only got a need for one or two. I had to buy 12. Anybody wants one? Shoot me an address and I'll send it to you. I'm going to tilt a little. Uh, no, I'm going to hit it with the torch this time. There's a lot of awesome ladies and gentlemen doing this sort of thing. And they're doing awesome jobs. I try to come up with new ideas of things to use. Now, if these cells would stay, I'd be a happy camper. I kind of got all the way to the canvas so the paint didn't flow a whole lot. I kind of scraped the background out. But let's see if I can come up with something. I just want to make sure I cover my canvas. Nothing says you can't stick your finger in it.
got a spot right in here. It went straight to the canvas. So I just want to get it covered. See if I can stretch some cells out. Let's see if we can go to this other end. I'd like to see this stretch a little. It has started slowing down. These cells kind of jammed up together. I don't want them doing that in that area. But that seems to be the direction it's going. If anyone has any ideas or any personal questions, I'd be more than happy to answer. And I will reply. If you think I could have done this a better way, hey, shoot it to me. I would love to hear what you have to say. And if you ask a question, I will get right back with you. As soon as I can get back online. I'm basically a night person. Always have been. When my son was small, the only time I could paint and do my art was when he was in bed. I did lose the pattern there. But I just might get it back. You're showing there's a lot of background paint. I've noticed that in a year you can manipulate the paint. It's not always going to do what you want it to do. 
but you can manipulate it. But you never know, something surprising may show up. Since I've got I go to uh Speedway and get these coffee stirs and they're nothing but mini straws. Nobody cares. Some of these cells I want to try to stretch. I'm going to see what the torch does. Now that I have blown some around. I'm just trying to break up some solid areas. about as much as we're going to get. The edges are starting to dry. And I'm just going to try to push them over so there isn't a lump of paint. Because most of the time if you get the mixture right it'll just blend down.
And here's a couple of places where it's nothing but canvas. Soften these edges. I'm going to put a little bit of this house paint on it. I've had my heater on because I got baby eggs, so it's causing my edges to dry faster than normal. I really do. I'm looking for advice from people. So, please, don't hesitate. Let me know what you think. And if you think I can do something better, hey, I appreciate it. All feedback. Now this is going to dry pretty good, pretty solid. I'll worry about my edges. When I get a, 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 I turn it off because I think that's a boring part of watching if somebody, you know, take care of all their corners and edges and stuff. Anyway, thank you so much for spending your time with me. And please like share and subscribe get your friends watching and god bless every one of you you have a wonderful day